How many grateful people do we have in this place? Jesus, we bless you. Hallelujah. We'll try to make tonight's meeting very short. Um, we'll do three things tonight. Number one, we'll take a few minutes to really praise and bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Number two, I'll just share a few thoughts about Christmas. Just certain things that will be good for us as Christians to note. And then we'll speak over our lives. Hallelujah. Praise God. Psalms 107. Just hold your Bible. Psalms 107. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good. For his mercies endure it forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, whom he hath redeemed from the hand of the enemy, and gathered them out of the lands from the east from the west from the north from the south they wandered in the wilderness in a solitary way and found no city to dwell in hungry and thirsty their soul fainted in them then they cried unto the lord in their trouble and he delivered them out of their distresses and he led them forth by the right way that they might go to a city of habitation oh that men would praise the lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. For he satisfied the longing soul and filleth the hungry soul with goodness. Such as sit in darkness and in the shadow of death. Being bound in affliction and iron. Because they rebelled against the words of God and despised the counsel of the Most High. Therefore he brought down their heart with labor. They fell down and there was none to help. Then they cried unto the Lord. Take note of every time they cried in their trouble and he saved them out of their distress he brought them out of darkness and the shadow of death and broke their bands in sunder oh that man would praise the lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men for he had broken the gates of bronze and cut the bars of iron in sunder fools because of their transgression and because of their iniquity are afflicted their soul had abhorred all manner of food and they draw near unto the gates of death then they cried unto the lord in their trouble and he saved them out of their distresses he sent his word and he led them and delivered them from their destructions oh that men would praise the lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men and let them sacrifice the sacrifices of thanksgiving and declare his works with rejoicing they that go down in the sea in ships that do business in great waters these see the works of the lord and his wonders in the deep for he commanded and raised the stormy wind which lifted up the waves thereof they mount up to the heavens they go down again into the depths their soul is melted because of trouble they reel through and fro and stagger like a drunken man and they are the white their wit end and they cried unto the lord in their trouble and he bringeth them out of their distresses he maketh the storm to come so that the waves thereof are still then they were glad because they were quiet and he bringeth them into their desired heaven oh that men would praise the lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men let them exalt him also in the congregation of the people and praise him in the assembly of the elders he turned rivers into a wilderness and the water springs into dry ground a fruitful land into barrenness for the wickedness of those who dwell therein he turned the wilderness into a pool of water and the dry ground into water springs and there he maketh the hungry to dwell that he may prepare a city for habitation and sow the fields and plant vineyards 
which may yield fruits of increase he blessed them also so that they are multiplied greatly and permitted not their cattle to decrease again they were diminished and brought low through oppression affliction and sorrow he poured contempt upon princes and caused them to wander in the wilderness where there is no way he set it he yet he set the poor on high from affliction and make it their families like a flock the last verse the righteous shall see it and rejoice and all iniquity shall stop her mouth hallelujah how many of you are living witnesses that god has been faithful hallelujah in the next 10 minutes we are going to praise god i want you to worship god in an undignified manner some of us when it comes to worshiping god you this this ridiculous organization keep it out of your life i don't know how you are going to worship god but i know that i have a testimony god has been faithful the psalmist said if the lord has not been on our side now may israel say if the lord had not been on our side psalm 3 said how many are they that are risen against me he said but thou O lord art a shield for me you are my glory and the lift up of my head micah said rejoice not over me my enemy for though i fall yet i shall rise he says there hope for a tree though it be cut down at the scent of water i like you to lift up your voice and say lord i don't need another person to tell me you are faithful where is that god that can keep a man from january where is that maker that can keep a man through february march april may walking on the same road that killed another person flying in the same airplane that can kill another person the bible says he make it hard that is barren to rejoice with children lord i call you faithful men may call you all kinds of names but this is my testimony from january february i thought i will not make it through the storm through the sickness through bomb blast through crisis through the wickedness of men you have been our ebenezer lift up your voice and let a song of worship Lord, you are faithful. 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 Lord, I call you faithful. Give him a song out of the depth of your heart of gratitude. Make melodies in the spirit. Say, Lord, you are faithful for the things you have done. Miracles, unprecedented miracles of breakthrough, of prosperity. Let me tell you, there is nothing you will do for God this night that is too much. Your kneeling down is not too much. Your lying down is not too much. The tears from your eyes is not too much as of an expression. This year you got born again. This year you got filled with the Holy Ghost. God took you from nothing and made you a voice. For I remember when I was a shepherd by the wayside. David remembered the days when he was nothing. Deserted in the house of Jesse. But God who can pick an ordinary man. Lord I remember those days when no one will hear my voice. I thank you because you have given me a voice and a mouthpiece that the nations can hear. You got filled with the Holy Ghost. You were delivered, healed. Thank you for the miracles in this house. SS changing to AA. Creative miracles. Oh my now miracles. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I'm not ungrateful. Thank you, Lord Jesus. No matter what you have to complain about, realize it's even because you are alive. For the dead cannot praise the Lord. For the dead cannot praise.
soul. Thank you. Go ahead and say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for the transforming power of your word. Thank you, Jesus. Many of you, God took you out of that class to two two out of two two. Many of you graduated. Some of you served. Some of you got jobs. Marriages, miraculous manifestations of the power of the Spirit. Deliverance from the hands of the enemy. God did not allow your enemies to rejoice over you. They that said, Where is their God? God put them to shame. Those who said nothing good can come out of your family. They watch your family dedicate houses. They watch your family celebrate cars. They watch ordinary people rise in your family. Because there is a God, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, the God of Abraham. The Bible says the keeper of Israel. He neither sleeps nor slumbers. For disappointing the counsel of the wicked, so I give you praise. 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 I will not forget, Lord, your benefits. How can I forget? message of God. You know it's not your prayer life that brought you this far. You know it's not your degree of obedience. This has nothing to do with you. You got miracles you did not pray for. You got breakthroughs you did not fast for. It's a count your blessings. Lord, we count our blessings tonight. Go ahead and begin to list as many things you know God has done. Say, Lord, I did not forget. You saved me from accident in February. Now we are in December. I know I've been busy, but I will not forget, oh God. Go ahead and pray. Some of you were admitted in the hospital. You saw others die. You saw them taking their dead bodies out. Some of you didn't know where your school teams would come from. But the God of all things. Some of you had carryovers that were waved supernaturally. You cannot explain it. For your mercies. Come on, we are giving him thanks. People died in plane crashes. Many churches were being, were in active worship when they were bombed. It would have been us. It would have been during one of the miracle services. If the Lord had not been on our side, now may Israel say it. Now may the house of Koinonia say, Lord, you have been faithful. It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord, to declare his praises in the morning.
Many of you have become leaders. See what the world has done in your life. See what the world has done in your life. You used to laugh at Christians before, but see what you have become by the power, the influence of the Holy Ghost. See how much the word of God has gained ground in your life. He has given you a voice. He has given you a voice. He has made you a sign and a wonder. Who would have known that you would be healing the sick? Who would have known that you would be a prayer warrior? Who would have known that you would have the capacity to pray? Now you are a leader over many. For your faithfulness. For your faithfulness. For your faithfulness. Lord, we give thanks. Lord, we give thanks. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me tell you a few things that God has done in the house of Koinonia this year. And then we will praise Him and thank Him. Hallelujah. We have experienced the grace of God in unusual ways. Listen, if you don't learn to see what God is doing, you will rob yourself. The principle of thanksgiving is the way to multiply anything God is doing in your life. Many of us are not grateful. When some of you are watching others rolling on the floor and worshiping, and you are wondering why. Because they stayed in the hospital for one month with someone's leg hanging, and they know God is faithful. Some of you are too innocent. You don't have a testimony. You've not been through anything. Even when you disobeyed God, people covered it for you. So you, you, can, you think it's because of your righteousness. But there are some people here that know that Lord... When people are bragging and saying my faith works, I know it's your mercy. Because this year, prayer warriors died. General overseers died. Billionaires died. Millionaires died. Little children died. You are faithful. This year as a ministry, it's been one of our busy uh, the busiest years we've traveled by road on the air but the faithfulness of god i remember when i was going to delta state when the plane crash was going to happen hallelujah we were moving in the air for over 30 minutes when we got to lagos because we couldn't land and later the pilot spoke and said there's a bit of challenge we may have to go to the neighboring countries and and land everybody was calling the name of everything there that would have been an accident highest all of you will cry for two weeks and it will continue but his faithfulness listen see there is a way you can experience god's mercy in your life it will cause you to love God as a matter of life and death because you have come to find out life sticks strings will say that he's your oxygen literally I've seen the faithfulness of God we have traveled in the night we have passed roads that they said arm robbers just robbed many of you saw arm robbers this year they raped other people and left you you would have been pregnant for children you cannot account for hallelujah all of the disasters right in this area many of you it was when you left Sabo that certain bomb blasts and certain things happened many of you armed robbers came and passed your house and robbed your neighbor you were even sleeping it's when you woke up in the morning you found out that one of your neighbors had died it's faithfulness As a ministry we have never lacked a place to worship is the faithfulness of God God has been faithful there is no miracle service that we've not had the Lord confirm his word I tell you if if you write a list of the miracles that have happened in Koinonia you would think we lied about it awesome fearful manifestations of the hand of God in our midst all kinds of heterogeneous miracles blood groups
creative miracles you just name it we've seen families transform supernatural miracles hallelujah we were in lagos this year for a program immediately after the program a woman walked up to me walked up to me and gave us a plot of land in Lekki in lagos how do you explain that we have experienced the favor of god let me tell you something this ministry is not run by strength otherwise would have been dead it's run by wisdom the superior wisdom he said by me kings reign and princes rule we have seen the hand of god when you look at what god is doing and you weigh us the equation is not balanced there is an there is there is an unfair factor called god in that equation there's no time that you have come that you lack a seat to sit down and say sorry oh, we could not pay for seat or we could not pay for venue god has been faithful we've never had to manipulate you to bring out offering and say please help us we are in trouble the faithfulness of god you have never come here to see us carry the word and preach lies and deceits to you we don't say this to brag but you must appreciate the quality of the word that you have received in this place one man traveled somewhere for a conference that was well announced with guests coming around the world when he came back he came and met me he said look continue this that you are doing they are now spent millions on the flyers and they were just jumping around and playing child's play hallelujah oppressed people were coming going back oppressed it was just a jamboree but you many of you have invited people and you are you were so confident they won't be disappointed what if the people you brought were disappointed some of you brought controversial people who said i beg jare later you saw them sweeping the ground and saying jesus you are lord you say this is what i've prayed for the hand of god every time you come for koinonia you expect to hear the word imagine if we were not praying and serious with what god is doing that you just come and we come on stage and say well uh, we don't have much to share but i hope you know we are human beings too imagine if you came here and you saw all of us just saying we had a bad day let's all cry together many of you come and imagine what it will happen what it, what will happen to your faith but every time you come the spirit of faith enters you there is always a word that sets you above so you hear all kinds of junks there when you enter here you know that there is potent faith that is alive here praise god Many of you have seen the power of God. We have experienced the glory of God. Praise the Lord. We have seen the transforming power of God through our teachings and our messages. I was sitting quietly when CBN Africa called and they said they wanted to come and do a documentary on ENI. I don't know them from Jack. There are people passing their cards. I'm a prophet. Please, can you invite me? I promise you, you will not be disappointed. But the hand of the Lord, His grace and His glory. A lot of people called some days ago and said, Ah, you're on AIT and 700 Club. I refuse to look at it because I said, These things can be deceitful. I said, Lord, I give you praise, but I refuse to be misled by these things. The hand of God. We have seen other many of you know that i'm not telling a lie you know how you have watched your pastor suffer as if it's not god that sent them praise the lord you have experienced the hand of god the grace of god many of you came here with all kinds of evil spirits you got from wherever you packed them and came here and god cleaned you up and today you cannot even believe as a family of faith we owe god thanks because he would have done without us and he will still be god let me tell you don't you ever think god does not have people he can raise stones i'm always always with this mindset that it is within god's power to do without me are you listening to me it is within god's power 
if I die today, you only cry and ask questions and say, but we know this guy was a man of faith. What happened? Regardless of what you say, it has finished. After two weeks, you cry and then <laughs> everything continues. But it's by grace. You have never seen any of us. You came for Koinonia and you saw the ministers and we came and we said, sorry, oh, um, we just came out of the surgery ward strong and agile there are times we finish koinonia in the night and we are going for vigils there are times we are sleeping and we are praying for you hallelujah we are praying for you so with all your disobedience you are still receiving breakthroughs you cannot account for and one day god called you and said mr man you better brace up because it's not you different departments working we've had all kinds of things we have lived as if Satan does not exist. We've had criticisms. We've had a lot of things. But God has granted us wisdom and maturity and focus. Imagine if we started going on newspaper to say, look, let's explain ourselves. This power is not juju power. Oh, we've had people say everything you can imagine. Every kind of thing. Some of you are part of the, <laughs> part of the people who said it before you later repented but all glory to him you see let me tell you something about God when you know God you, you will be like a madman there is a degree of confidence that is out of this world and tonight we are going to say Lord as a family of faith as a, you are not thanking him for you now you have prayed if you don't have anything say lord thank you for what you have done for the ministers thank you for what you have done for every department the protocol department see listen you don't know the amount of work that goes in every week many of you just come in and there are ushers well dressed you don't know they are trained you don't know their belt you don't know the amount of prayers and fasting that goes in for you to come and get the presence of god if you think you can get it in the air go and get it praise God do you know the amount of hours it takes to prepare a sermon just one quality sermon born from the spirit not downloaded from the internet born from the spirit the ability to stay and discern and ask oh God what are you saying not what do we do we don't prepare messages from January to December here and say this is what we must say. We are working real time with the Holy Spirit. There are times we have come here and we ended up praying, correct? Because of the direction of the Spirit. We thank God for the blessings, the quality of ministers that you have here. Imagine if all the ladies in this place will not be safe because, because we are anointed. Sisters, imagine if you cannot come and worship God in peace and go. Because while we are Cain, Abel, I always use Abel is worshipping and I just spot that sister and send her a prophetic note. See me after. Are you not happy? Listen, listen. Don't take it for granted. Because many of you have been victims in your churches and in your ministry. There are many ladies today that cannot quietly go to a ministry and worship God in peace and leave. There is always trouble. Or to be able to look and say, Janfa, come and stand. And we steal out money from your pocket whether you criticize nobody will come and put a gun on our head have you not finished your story there who is chopping it is it not us and we are just smiling and saying god is good by the grace of god almighty we account for every ounce of finances in this place none of the ministers has direct access to the finance thank god that you have an environment of discipline where you can come and hear God's word. Not that you come here and just see us doing jamboree and just playing gimmicks and wasting your time and talking jargons. Hallelujah. Don't take it for granted. Hallelujah. In five minutes, I don't know how you're going to thank God. Say, Lord, I thank you for every avenue to communicate the gospel of Christ. For our Facebook, our YouTube channel, on Twitter, the ministers are miracle services. Go ahead and pray. Say, Lord, you are faithful. Thank God for ENI. Thank God for Koinonia.
any of you have taken these teachings to your families they have transformed your churches your meetings we dare to say with all humility that we have made an impact upon the people in this land as a ministry whether by teaching by the miraculous hand of God to the glory of God lift your voice and say Lord I thank you Lord we give you praise we do not boast we are humbled that you can use us we are humbled oh God that you can anoint us thank you for the discipline in this house thank you for the love thank you for the vision thank God for every department the worship team the hours that go into rehearsals and building the protocol department the media the ushers they are always cleaning the seats making the place comfortable for you lift your voice and say Lord we thank you Lord we thank you for financial blessings we thank you for wisdom we thank you for leadership acumen the ability to manage people the ability to manage resources Lord we return thanks as a family of faith we return thanks we return thanks we return thanks we've not had any bomb blast we've not had any act of terrorism we give you thanks oh God we give you thanks we have no ability in ourselves to protect ourselves but the God of all flesh has been faithful hallelujah hallelujah please lift your hands everyone bless me my God and my King I thank you for confirming your word in our midst that every time you bring your sons and daughters your word is not scarce in this place Lord on behalf of the leadership of this great great family of faith we want to say thank you we are not ungrateful we will never claim to have accomplished anything by our strength for by the arm of flesh shall no man prevail lord we thank you for our precious people everyone that you have trusted and committed by grace we thank you for the transforming power in their lives and their families in their jobs their businesses lord i thank you for the ministers thank you for the heads of department the escorts in every department the workers the faithful priceless workers we have in this place motivated by revelation i thank you for everyone lord you have protected us on the road in the air you have protected all our members biking every week you have preserved them we've not had to bury anybody on the bike lord we thank you thank you for financial supplies oh god we have enjoyed abundance beyond our level of obedience in the name of the lord jesus thank you for vision thank you for wisdom thank you for grace thank you for the quality of word and revelation that you have brought forth in our midst thank you for the manifestation of the fivefold ministry in this place thank you because the church is built and equipped thank you because this is a place of genuine hunger and thirst for your kingdom lord we give you praise this is december the 21st you have helped us lord we return thanks as a family of faith we return thanks in the presence of satan and the holy angels and everyone as witnesses we return thanks because the desires of our enemies have not prevailed this year you have caused us to prosper you have blessed us you have increased us on all sides oh god you have blessed us you've granted us the grace to grow and have a balanced spiritual growth we thank you we give you all the praise in the name of the lord jesus hallelujah god bless you please sit down quickly hallelujah how many of you are excited i am praise god now um 
Tuesday is Christmas, hallelujah. And we're excited. We celebrate Christmas. Praise God. Let me say one more time. We celebrate Christmas. It's not a ritual. It's a revelation. Hallelujah. But I just want to give us three reasons. I'm speaking very briefly on the significance of Christmas. I got to discover that many believers, even tongue-talking Christians, the only thing they know is what happened on Christmas. They don't know the significance. You ask them what happened on Christmas. They say a virgin gave birth to a baby called Jesus, the Savior of the world, period and full stop. How does that relate to us? Praise God. So I want to give us three reasons so that in the euphoria of the celebration, we can draw back and contemplate on these thoughts very quickly three reasons why every believer should number one celebrate christmas but much more celebrate christmas with revelation what is the significance of christmas if they call you in your fellowship at home or anywhere and they say you have attended koinonia we hear god is doing great things please give us a brief exhortation on christmas you're not going to stand and say well uh, there were shepherds, there were angels, Mary gave birth, Jesus didn't die. That's all. That cannot be all. Hallelujah. The significance of Christmas. Number one. Or before I, I begin, I want you to write that Christmas is all about Jesus. All, not some, all about Jesus. When you substitute Jesus with any other thing, Father Christmas, um, whatever it is those things are wonderful but Christmas is all about Jesus I love um, publicities that says Jesus is the reason for the season I believe that with all my heart because right now in the western world they are trying to remove the concept of Jesus out of Christmas I hope you know that so they just say season's greeting Please don't send any card with season's greeting. Merry Christmas and a prosperous new year. They are not the same. You can't say season's greeting. Season's greeting for who? There are many seasons. But there is a season called Christmas. There are many things that are celebrated. The day Bin Laden died. The day polio came to the world. The day everything's happened. So we have to celebrate Jesus Christ. He's not a founder of a movement. He's the giver of life. Hallelujah. So Jesus is the reason for the season. Significance of Christmas, number one. Every time we approach the Christmas season, every true believer should bear the following in mind. Number one. Christmas should remind us of Jesus as the light of the world. That's the first revelation we should know. Jesus as the light of the world. Jesus as the light of the world. Praise God. He came to model a path for us. He came to give us a picture of what the believer's walk in the earth should be. He came to be the light. The Bible says in him was life. John 1. And that life was the light of men. Hallelujah. Matthew chapter 4 says. Verse 16. It says. The people who were once in darkness. Have now seen a great light. Light stands for direction. Light stands for illumination. Light stands for knowledge. So Jesus came. First to be a portrait. Of the intention of the father the portrait of how a believer is supposed to walk in the kingdom that's why when he was born he didn't just die he lived for 33 years modeling a life the Bible says that we should follow in his steps hallelujah so number one significance of Christmas is that it should remind us of Jesus as the light of the world The light of the world means that he came to model a pathway. The Bible says, in thy light, we see light. So he came, he came to create a pattern for the believer. 
because they were walking in darkness and he brought light he brought the knowledge of the father the knowledge of the kingdom life to the believer the knowledge the characteristic feature of the kingdom he came to give us a reorientation about the kingdom life hallelujah And in response to this revelation we are supposed to respond as believers by different activities that will bring the lost to jesus christ the revelation as jesus as light reveals him also as the light that brings men out of darkness the bible says we have been translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of god's dear son the kingdom of light hallelujah so as a christian you respond to this revelation by your evangelical outreaches you try to find certain things you can do that will bring people into the knowledge of the truth that way you are responding correctly to the merriment of christmas so when we have carols for instance there used to be what a few denominations still practice it what they call it nine lessons or carol of nine lessons and people come very wonderful programs that bless people remind people of of certain things songs that remind us of the light we used to sing a song there is a candle in every soul some brightly burning you don't know the song see hallelujah that time some of you were still in darkness <laughs> jesus as the light of the world he came to show us the way and the bible says ye say i am the light say it i am the light so you celebrate the christmas first with the revelation that jesus came as the light and then in response that you have now become the light so it's an opportunity to share jesus christ it's an opportunity to give people access to quality christian materials you can bless people with books that can enlighten them you are responding to the revelation of jesus as light say amen say time to support mission agencies agencies that are they're preaching the gospel ensuring that lives are changed there are many mission agencies genuine mission agencies who don't eat the money that are given for missions capro you have a, a number of, of of very quality evangelical ministries and mission agencies it's the time to say oh i'm sowing a seed of five thousand to support the missionaries you are partnering with that revelation of jesus as the light of the world hallelujah you really see that many people do not celebrate christmas in a quality way from a kingdom's perspective once it's december what people are trying to think is how much do you have let's gather and buy this cow i have 50k you call this guy said 20 you call 70 say let's bring it together there's one small cow we can get in Giwa. and now that's that's what we are thinking about that's what is brewing in our mind are you using local rice or uncle ben's now but this is the revelation that the bible gives us thank god for all of those things but we must first have a revelation that is not a celebration of just a ceremony it's a celebration of a man and an assignment an agenda a revelation and number one is jesus as the light of the world so your christmas is not complete if somebody does not get born again through you your christmas is not complete if someone is not filled with the holy ghost through you your christmas is not complete some of you have friends around why don't you have a, a little bible study group just for two days make zobo and make cake or something let the people come or gather the children in your community do something that presents you as the light hallelujah number two christmas is a time where we remember jesus an ex, as an expression of god's love to mankind jesus as an expression the epitome the revelation of god's love for mankind john three sixteen, for god so loved mankind 
so loved the world and he proved his depth of love by giving his only son Jesus and he said whosoever will believe in him will not perish but have eternal life the gospel is called good news not bad news say good news so every time the gospel is properly presented it should let people see the love of God yes God is a just God yes God is a he's fearful in his holiness but I want you to know that God is love say after me God is love the message of God's love must be taken to the nations when you are building believers when we are teaching you and building you we cannot keep telling you God is love forever you must know other dimensions of God but when you are on the, an evangelical platform the first revelation a sinner needs to know is that God is love that no matter what they have done God does not condemn them he can receive them hallelujah so we must remember Jesus as an expression of the love of the father his birth made it possible for him to die if he was not born he will never die is that correct so his birth as we celebrate his birth we remember also that he came on an assignment to die and he did not give up he was a substitute he substituted us in death that we will now live for him in life this is the gospel hallelujah the bible says while we did not even acknowledge him he died for us let's look at one scripture very quickly first john 4 first john 4 first john 4 are you there verse 9 in this was manifested the love of god towards us that means this is what was done to prove that god loved us that god sent his only begotten son into the world that we might live through him verse 10 hearing is love listen not that we love god but that he loved us and sent his son to be a propitiation for our sins and as a result 11 if god so loved us we ought also to what love one another praise god so the revelation of christ as an expression of the love of the father and so christmas is a time when we respond to this revelation by acts of love this is where you give gifts your hampers and everything you visit families you visit friends christmas is not a time when you just sit down and just laugh alone no you are supposed to express it in that you are revealing are you listening to me you are revealing the love of the father the bible says just like christ loved us you visit people who do not deserve your visit certain enemies that you have been nursing from january is the time you go to their house and say oh merry christmas say me i will, I will never buy christmas card buy it write their names hallelujah many of you only have the list of people who have done good for you you have it at the back of your book where the holy spirit speaks to you at the last page you reserved it for all those who have offended you christmas is a time when you x those lists out and say i have love for all men regardless of what they have done as an expression of what christ has done hallelujah when your parents tell you to label greeting cards and your father said don't that man are you bad let me not see you don't write anything the stupid man you say daddy but there is a revelation of jesus i want us to see in this period jesus as an expression of the father's love hallelujah number three it should remind us this is very important in the euphoria of celebration and taking capel Eva, pure heaven and for some of you who take all manner and brands of wine and say just five percent alcohol we believe in the full gospel and the full counsel of god if you have been taking beer repent say i only take during christmas repent repent take it 
very seriously because some of you your loved ones drink is okay god is working on them but you who are seeing the light come out of that darkness don't say thought they forced us we always do this. insist on the counsel of god don't say i'll drink but i won't be drunk but by now you should know that god is seriously building an army don't make yourself vulnerable to satan hallelujah ladies during christmas that's when the problem of many ladies start they explore things you shouldn't explore in the name of friends in the name of parties and of course there are beautiful christian parties and wonderful get together how do you know a christian party the values of the kingdom are kept no matter the height of the euphoria jesus is still lord when jesus becomes lord from the beginning of the party and becomes something else that's satan i won't keep quiet i won't keep quiet hallelujah because christmas is the time people finish from church and they move around and all kinds of things some of you when you were not born again you know the things you do december and you have a group now you are born again but you are afraid of telling them so as a lady you get they say chick are you dead now you don't come oh yeah those guys are radio they came in from abuja tell them you are the light of the world why do i want to fall my hand it's better to fold your hand than to fold your destiny revelation of christmas hallelujah it's amazing how people can just shift away the things of god one time my father was having his birthday and they went somewhere and had a, a wonderful time a, a, like a buffet and had a nice time and then my father asked someone to pray and some women were offended they said which kind of nonsense is this Abba, share there is church there are some of you that your friends say that Abi. don't spiritualize this in pastor let's enjoy ourselves now don't spoil this atmosphere because i did a teaching on the law of atmosphere the guy wants to sleep with this girl and your words are polishing the flesh in him and he cannot he cannot perform what it is that they want to do as a believer you must threaten darkness with your presence are you learning something please if all the parties and everywhere around are bad gather your friends who you know love god come together cook rice enjoy there's frank edward's song it's better than yanni's song spiritually Many of you don't like what I'm saying. But let me tell you the truth. This is the cost of being a genuine Christian. Hallelujah. You go back and meet a lot of friends. And you say, me, I won't drink, but I'll contribute to buy the beer. The Bible says, blessed is the man. It didn't call the man a wicked man. Who does not walk in the way of the wicked, nor stands in the way of sinners, nor sits. So there is walking standing sit in the bible say any one of them you belong you are still you are still found wanting don't walk don't stand don't sit say me i just went to visit i'm watching all kinds of things get out of there hallelujah you watch a guy doing all kinds of things with a lady in the name of love and they have no respect they are at the beach doing all kinds of ungodly things you are sitting there before you know it the bible says lord settled near sodom he didn't enter sodom when abraham told him choose a land lord this is sodom this is lord where did abraham go and find lord how did he start moving you see let me tell you something lord settled near sodom later he was in the middle of sodom and the people even wanted to sleep with the angel you, you see that's that's the state of depravity that's the absence of the ministry of the holy spirit in a man's life don't allow yourself to be a victim of this thing because you see let me tell you something with people in the world people in the world are so bold at doing things that are evil a guy can walk up to you and say i want to sleep with you and you are like jesus christ so you are in an environment that has been so christianized 
the Holy Ghost has given us a sense of order and decorum. You can't even mention some things. And now here somebody just talks to you and they say, what do you have to say? I remember traveling one time and, and there was a white man and he was telling me, he was so happy and so bold, he was telling me the beer he likes. He said, Kai, he likes this beer. He said, which one is my own? <laughs> he didn't even say, do you drink? He said, which one is my own? And you can trust that I made God proud in that meeting. Although we didn't talk again. See, don't use everything as an opportunity. Don't just say, me, I don't like it. That's not the gospel. You have not preached. Use the opportunity and say, I belong to a kingdom. And there is a modus operandi in our kingdom. We live by kingdom values. Don't waste opportunities. They may mock you. But let me tell you the truth. It's only if you have not seen the light of God's word. Ten years to come, that same person will come for your meeting and be sitting in the overflow because he didn't listen to what you are saying. So Christmas reminds us of Jesus Christ as our soon coming king. Say after me, soon coming king. It's my pleasure to announce to you one more time after a long time of silence in the church that Jesus is still coming soon. Say, it, Jesus is coming soon. Say, he's still coming soon. In the midst of the noisy messages that try to explain away the coming of Jesus, let me tell you the truth. Scripture cannot be broken. You must live with eternity in view. The Bible says, if our hope is just in this life, we are of all men most miserable. Now, we are not the kind of Christians that just believe, oh, there shouldn't be anything. I mean, don't, don't enjoy yourself. Don't enjoy the blessings of God. No, not at all. Not at all. We had picnics this year. We had all kinds of things. Create the Christian version of whatever you want. I belong to a group in secondary school and one of the group was a rap group that contained most of the bad boys in the school and all the bad and worldly songs we gather them just remove the parts that are too nasty and just put in something they were just looking for an opportunity to do break dance on stage I was part of the group I didn't sing but I played keyboard for them If you want a party create a party that starts with sound prayer not in jesus name amen we don't want to offend anybody look mr man if you are praying pray you better pray all those things that you guys say we don't want to offend anybody when are you going to be proud of the lord what is your concept of jesus christ see let me tell you the truth there are some things that can never happen around me i don't say it to brag this is not ministry If you buy a new car, you don't wrap tampoline on it and drive it and say, I don't want anybody to see. It's your beauty that people see it. So, why are you afraid of the light? He said, You cannot light a candle and put it under a bush. Many of us love God so long as we are shielded by a nice Christian environment called Koinonia. You are okay, you are fine. But when you step in and see all kinds of people, listen, let me tell you, be bold. Be bold. Be bold. If it means you separating from your company of your association of primary school students, you always celebrate December 26th, Boxing Day. Ah! You just be knocking bottles. Repent genuinely and take the message of salvation to them. Jesus is a soon coming king. Two scriptures very quickly. Don't get entangled with this world and its vanities. We respond to this revelation by having at least some time of retreat. Please look up. Don't spend all the break in festivities. Even if it's one day, have some time alone and reflect. Are you listening to me? This is how we are training you not just to be spiritual men here, but to be leaders. Hallelujah. You must take a day, even if it's the last one or two days of January. Tell your friends you are not visiting, you are not doing anything. Lock yourself with God and allow his light re-examine you. 
how many of you know what is called a retreat because some of you don't know it you don't do it let me see your hands don't say Abba who doesn't know just lift your hands if you know if you don't know it put it down those of you who don't have retreats from today begin to periodically practice retreats retreat means retreat from the word retreat means go back draw back to a solitary place a secret place flog it out with destiny hallelujah where you deal with certain areas where have i been rebellious to the laws of god where have i been rebellious to the things of the spirit hallelujah is someone getting blessed please you must take at least a day off to take some time and then prepare for the year and say lord in the name of jesus 2013 will be a great year i will obey you like never before i will walk in your ways like never before i will see victories in my life like never before the word of god will come strong and alive in my spirit like never before two scriptures acts 1 verse 11 we're almost done acts 1 11 This was Jesus speaking. Who also said, Ye men, okay, the angels now, when Jesus had gone up, the angels speaking. Who also said, Ye men of Galilee, why stand ye gazing up into heavens? Let's read the remaining together. I want to read. This same Jesus, who is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven. To say after me, Jesus is coming back yes he is revelations 3 verse 11 i feel god is cleaning some hearts in this place this night behold i come quickly hold fast hold that fast which thou hast that no man take your crown hallelujah he said hold fast what you have so as you celebrate christmas in the merriment as you eat the turkey as you eat the chicken as you travel around as you have fun as families meet together do not forget these three things the significance of christmas one that is about jesus christ as the light of the world and as a result you should reflect that light in your life you can carry some koinonia messages and just go and distribute it to your friends who probably would not listen to you it can be a seed you are sowing as the light you can buy a few books and bless certain people with it as a gift number two jesus as the expression of the father's love for mankind and you must take that message of god's love in your life and as you speak it do good to people don't gather everything for yourself in the Christmas. Find a way of blessing someone. Even if it's the little children that are in your community, they always stand. And when you are going to go and empty trash can, you see them coming to pick certain things and they're eating and you are smiling. Why don't you surprise them and do something? Why don't you buy one mudu of rice and say, I will surprise these children? Hallelujah. And put everything in, in uh, pack away, take away a uh, can and call the children and tell them this is an expression of the love of jesus for you they may be laughing it may just cost you a thousand naira to do it but i tell you you have you are, see celebrate christmas in a way that will make heaven clap for you hallelujah you can send a post online from your facebook page and just say jesus is lord share with people what he has done in your life and let them know he can do the same thing you can send a message of hope to people i used to write letters and send to my friends I, I, when i say letters i mean epistles not how are you how was today what did you eat? no no send things beautiful epistles and i'll i'll stamp them and and i mean i'll i'll, I'll clip them and send it to my friends many of you may need to give hope to someone a lady who probably thinks all is out she has been involved in everything you can think about jesus as the expression of the father's love everybody is laughing at her and doing everything 
you may be that hand that can reach out and say at christmas that's why i thank god for people like the salvation army we don't have those kinds of organizations in nigeria because most people are are, are greedy and self-centered people how many of you will do something to bring glory to the name of the lord see take responsibility as a christian let this be maybe for some of you your first christmas that you didn't just receive a loan but you gave Many of you already say, ah, Christmas, my father's workplace, they will bring cow, they will bring palm oil, they will bring rice. Thailand, when are you going to do something for somebody else? Even if it is to call little children around, buy some toys, let them play, let them jump on your bed, let them do everything. And let them know that Jesus reigns. If you can celebrate Christmas that way, let me tell you, you will have a fruitful Christmas and it's a very prophetic way for preparing for the year ahead. How many of you believe this? Significance of Christmas. So let this be a Christmas that you will celebrate with revelation. Not just one that you just eat and have merriment. There are many people who say, well, this Christmas, let, let, next, let next year come. why won't you make your christmas kingdom driven and meaningful many of you may be the first of different people to gather your family together maybe 31st of december maybe 1st of january just go and meet your father and your mother just gather them together and say let's just pray and speak into the family the father say i'm busy you say no daddy there is a principle of speaking into her. The truth is, God has given many of you honor before your loved ones. You have not taken certain bold steps. Many of you, your parents have come to respect you because they have seen the light of God. And you know if you initiate a move like this, it will work. Save your family from catastrophe. Don't say, I know our father. If you gather everybody now, they'll start saying the wrong things they did from January. Can't you just absorb whatever it is and receive it and communicate what God has? Do something for Jesus. Do something for Jesus. One of the ministries that I admire their passion towards the things of the kingdom is Christ's embassy. They have such an unparalleled zeal. They go all out. Hallelujah. And do different things for the kingdom. Don't just celebrate your Christmas for yourself. And you alone. And you and one of your friends. And you are smiling. Mm -mm. Say I will do something for the kingdom. Say I will do something for the kingdom. On your Facebook page. By revealing the love of God to your loved ones. Concentrate on your family many of you you are the evangelist that god is sending right now to your family some of you are traveling to the village go and dethrone principalities and powers some of you your the people in your community there's one gathering that they do and there is spare one hour that is wasted take advantage of that one hour tell them you have something to do even if it's a special number just say i have something and trust god for it say but god will you move will people be blessed don't go and disgrace me no no i'm telling you stand and speak with authority and you will see the grace and the hand of god say i will do it say it after me i will do it for his majesty and let me remind you once again you must take some time to retreat at least a day you can wait upon the lord in a fast you may just take fruits say fruits christmas or you can eat whatever you want to eat just wait have some time and say lord i've been living my life without direction or i just got born again will you order my steps into 2013 order my steps i don't just want to wait for many of you in your churches and ministry cross overnight and hear the prophetic word that your different men of god will bring but Lord, I want to get something for myself. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. By the grace of God, 31st will send a prophetic word for the year. Now, let me tell you something. 
I've had people criticize prophetic words and they are worth being criticized if the man of God was just crossing his legs and searched through the net what the Holy Ghost is saying and just saw something the year of vision he just said now thus said the Lord is the year of vision or is the year of double promotion or whatever it is but where people stay with the Holy Spirit the Bible says without vision the people cast off restraint prophetic word is very useful because although God exists in eternity at every season he governs people with a prophetic blueprint of what he is doing praise God now I know it has been abused many men of God are under pressure they now call their mentors or their fathers or their herbalist or their whatever and say what do you think is going to happen they say, just say it's a year of uh, uh, lifting lifting they just write produce banners lifting produce this lifting or, pro or that but that when when the word is hard and believed i'm telling you if you tap into it you will see that dimension of god prophetic word for many ministries is what god will do for them for us it's not just what god will do for us it's what god is doing are you listening to me it's not just what we will receive from god but how we are going to align the emphasis and the focus of the spirit for that season hallelujah praise the lord so we'll send words when you get it pray on it believe it and begin to run with it hallelujah rise up on your feet Hallelujah. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Lift your hands and worship Him. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you. Thank you, my Lord, for your kindness. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord, for your favor. Thank you, Jesus. going to pray and speak over your life hallelujah but I want us to pray in one minute and say Lord make me useful to my environment during this Christmas that I'll celebrate this Christmas with revelation lift your voice and pray make sure you are praying say Lord I have failed myself to be a tool be it through outreaches through tracts evangelical materials as I celebrate oh God I will have testimonies for my family I will celebrate Christmas like unbelievers I reflect on Jesus being the light of the world an expression of the love of, of the Father and as the soon coming King pray and say Lord I avail myself I receive grace to say no to anything that is ungodly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want you to know that 2013 is a great year. Honestly, I know for many of you, God has begun to speak certain things a very strange and a unique year hallelujah so i want you to believe in what god is doing your best is yet to come believe me i'm telling you this is a year this year has been a preparatory year for certain awesome levels of glory that we'll see how many of you believe that hallelujah 
you're going to pray and say lord if i saw january till now my eyes will witness 2013 lift your voice and pray lord i'm not burying any loved one in my family and i will not die pray because there's wickedness on the road on the streets say lord i'm separated from the arrows that fly by day the noise so pestilence pray and say lord i am safe on the road safe on the air safe in the morning safe in the afternoon no accident no arm robbery pray no bomb blasts i am protected by the mighty hands of god I am protected. I have no covenant with death. I choose life. Please take this prayer point seriously. I choose life. My eyes will see 2013 and I will rejoice with the living. I choose life for myself and my loved ones. I choose life. Are going to be traveling on the road. I choose life. We are separated from robbers. I refuse to fear because I've been given dominion and authority over the works of God's hands. Declare it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Many of you. May be wondering and say, ah, why are we speaking? Let me tell you something about speaking. One scripture. Don't, don't turn there because of time. Job 13 verse 19. Listen. Job said, who is he that will plead with me? For now, if I hold my tongue, I shall die. That's what Job said. Job said, if I hold my tongue, I shall die. Job 13 verse 19 Who is he that will plead with me? For now, if I hold my tongue, I shall die. We don't just talk irrationally. We are speaking out of revelation. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You are going to speak and say, Lord, I left Zaria to my destination healthy. It's not in an ambulance that will bring me back into 2013. Lift your voice and pray. No sickness. No accident. Pray for your children. Pray for your family members. Some of them are coming. Some of you are going to the village. You know the wickedness that prevails in your village. Say in the name of Jesus, I'm above every curse. No death. No sickness, nothing broken, nothing missing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The last prayer point, you're going to say, Lord, listen. There are some of you that God has vowed to bless you and take you into certain realms. Between now and 31st, you're going to say, Lord, I count you faithful. And I contend, there's no prophecy that was made for 2012. Are you listening to me? That will enter and be aborted into 2013. You're going to pray. There are certain things God has told you he will do with your family. Certain blessings and breakthrough. Lift your voice and say, even now, oh God, you are faithful. Even now, oh God, lift your voice. Even now, oh God, for your family members, pray. God has vowed to promote them. God has vowed to increase them. God has vowed to terminate barrenness. God told you before the end of your, the year, your sister will find her husband. Your brother will find his wife. 
some of your family members will get jobs. It has not happened, but God created the heavens and the earth in seven days. Say, Lord, even now, even now, go ahead and pray. Many of you are building and there's just a little push and God told you you would dedicate the house in 2012. Say Lord, even now, even now I believe there are certain realms in the spirit God told you you were working. Certain financial realms. Certain realms in wisdom. Say Lord, even now Blessed is she that believes, for unto her there shall be a performance. Say, Lord, I may not see the wind, I may not see rain, but I know the valley shall be filled. Lord, we believe you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray for you. Part of the ministry of the priests in ancient time was to speak prophetic blessings over the people. Many of you do not know the power of prophecy and the power of releasing a word on people. Many people trivialize it. I tell you, believe it. When Jacob blessed, when Isaac blessed Jacob, he didn't give him money. He didn't give him anything he left a prophetic word that provoked the heavens to shake on his behalf hallelujah i believe that we are anointed and called of god and i believe that if you will believe you will carry a blessing hallelujah praise the lord please lift your hands thank you jesus i pray for you right now in the name of jesus That you will experience unusual doors of favor yeah. in the name of jesus christ yeah. i declare that every reproach over your life and over your family is rolled forever in the name of jesus i pray for you that any sickness any disease and infirmity in your body that has defied anything i curse it to its root in the name of jesus i declare in the name of jesus that whatever causes god to take a man from nothing and make him something i pray that the god of israel the one who has taken ordinary men may god lift you in a matter of days and exalt you I speak over your family in the name that is above all names whatever it is that has made them cry the God of Israel the God that can do what no man can do may God wipe the tears of your family members permanently in the name of Jesus hallelujah I pray for you in the name of Jesus that these hands that are lifted I anoint you to do wonders yeah. wonders yeah. in the name of the Lord Jesus yeah. I command that you have a mouth and a wisdom that no enemy will be able to resist nor gain say I command that your presence threatens darkness in the name of the Lord Jesus I call you the blessed I call you the blessed I call you the blessed above every cause above every ancestral statement i deliver you from the scourging tongues of men in the name of jesus they will not prevail against you in the name of jesus i take the hands of death above your life in the name of jesus christ you are favored you are blessed you are lifted you are distinguished in the name of jesus the ornament of glory comes upon you and Isaac blessed Jacob and said, The smell of my son is like the field that the Lord has blessed. Let a fragrance of honor come upon you in the name of the Lord Jesus. 
and David said is there any man of the house of Saul that I may show him kindness and although Mephibosheth was a crippled man favor brought him I pray in the name of Jesus that within these two weeks you will enter fearful realms and dimensions of favor my God do it for you my God do it for you in the name of the Lord Jesus I pray for fearful financial blessings in the name that is above all names I speak and I program your spirit man I command enter 2013 with a dimension of prosperity you cannot explain I tell you if you believe it you will see it I tell you if you believe it you will see it I call strangers to bless you I provoke strangers let them call your parents I provoke it from the west from the east I provoke it I provoke it strangers unusual wealth and prosperity I invoke it according to the measure of grace hallelujah whatever has been a source of division and fighting and quarreling in your family many of you get home only to fight in the name that is above all names i speak over you and end comes to the division in your family i don't care why he came an end comes an end comes and every strange woman who will not let your father concentrate in his family or every strange man who will not let your sisters and brothers i break that relationship from the realm of the spirit i break it from the realm of the spirit i break it from the realm of the spirit in the name of jesus hallelujah all the people that come and distract your parents so that they won't bless you you are praying you are walking other people are coming all in the name of uncles people from the village may my god give your parents wisdom may god give them wisdom may god give them wisdom i pray for fathers right now because fathers are a real problem to many people in the family i pray who says he cannot change the heart of a king is in the hands of the lord and like the waves of the sea he will turn it change i prophesy upon the stony heart of your fathers change in the name of jesus they will love your mother they will love you may god expose those who have given bad reports may god expose the hands of wicked people all those who come to intrude with the welfare and the progress of your family i command that god will expose them forever yeah. hallelujah hallelujah i pray there are some of your families every year by this time you will go to the village and your parents renew all kinds of godless ordinances that keep granting satan access to your family i pray in the name of jesus in the name that is above all names that you are going as an agent of change we release you as an agent of change we release you as an agent of change for those of you who don't have the grace to say no to sin no to immorality no to every kind of wickedness that happened during festive seasons let an anointing come upon you to say no in the name of jesus let an anointing come upon you to say no in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah may the lord bring a blessing in your family that will be too big to it will reconcile every division no matter what the issue is may god bring a blessing that will bring everybody together every plan of the enemy over your life that satan has vowed that you will not smile during this christmas i command in the name of the lord jesus christ that this will be the greatest christmas celebration you have had in your life in the mighty name of jesus 
one of the things the lord told me is that many people are going to carry favor i have said this thing every time i say it many people don't believe it favor this favor thing many of you are yet to explore what the favor of god is the favor of god the favor of god once again i speak it into your life i speak favor into your life may god give you favor may god give you favor may god give you favor let it rub off on you may god give you favor let it speak everywhere you go men who don't like you will still bless you men who don't like you will still bless you they will know what has come upon them they will bless you they will bless you i prophesy it i prophesy it i send this word to your atmosphere i create a prophetic atmosphere for this world to thrive it will not return until you have a testimony in the name of jesus we pray for the families that have your if you have any of your loved ones sick lift your hands enough is enough enough is enough for god's sake any one of your loved ones sick in the name that is above all names we pray right now that the same power that raised christ jesus from the dead let that power invade your house in the name of jesus barrenness because forever barrenness because forever barrenness because forever barrenness because forever in the name of jesus every terminal disease let it be caused to its root in the name of jesus all those who are bedridden i command that at your sight and at your presence they will jump up from that bed i tell you you will testify they will jump up from that bed we cause cancer we cause high blood pressure we cause hiv we cause blindness partial paralysis if it has a name let it bow in the name of jesus and i speak over the house i speak to the ground if i be a servant of the lord jesus christ i speak to this ground i command the bible says out of the earth comes bread i speak to this ground in the name of jesus let it provoke a blessing to your life job said in six things will you be delivered yea in seven things he said in a time of famine you will laugh he said you shall be delivered from the scourging tongues he said because you have made a covenant with the stones if your eyes can see sand no one will kill you in that place except there is no sand on the floor if your eyes can see sand i declare no man will take your life The lord deliver you in the day of trouble may the lord answer for you may his word speak for you in the name of jesus anyone stranger roaming around your house that is involved in occultic activities before you get home we drive them out of your house out of your house out of your house out of your house, of your house. in the name of jesus We command salvation for your loved ones impossible salvations let them happen in the name of jesus take an unusual unction of the spirit take an unusual anointing take it home do wonders i tell you heal the sick cast out devil raise the dead don't sympathize no change stories don't sympathize with your loved ones hallelujah hallelujah 2013 is going to be a very powerful year believe me a very powerful year 
I pray in the name of Jesus. Every miracle, every manifestation of the spirit you have seen here in the lives of the ministers, I declare, go and reproduce it wherever you go. Go and reproduce the prophetic. Go and reproduce the apostolic. Go and reproduce the evangelistic. Go and reproduce pastoral grace. Go and reproduce the teaching grace. In the name of the Lord Jesus, if you ever saw one minister of the gospel here, whatever you saw, go and do it. Whatever you saw, I release it from the bowels of the spirit. Whatever you saw on stage, if you saw miracles, go and produce it. If you saw quality delivery, go and reproduce it. If you saw word of knowledge, go and reproduce it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I pray for the house that the Lord will bless and increase us together next year. In the name of Jesus. That the Lord will bless and increase us next year by the power of the Holy Ghost. You will come back and everyone will know that God is with you. The worship team sang about Emmanuel, God being with us. Truly God is with us. Have no fear. Cheer up. Enjoy your Xmas. Remember you are a king. Don't forget your identity. You are royalty. You are above all. You are not contending. No, you are above all. That's your present position. Hallelujah. Very quickly before we take the announcements, I want you to walk up to 20 people and hug them and say congratulations for seeing the final service of 2020. Very quickly, congratulations. Make sure you are congratulating someone. Faithful God. Come on with a smile on your face. Even if you are coming here for the first time blessed are you blessed are you yes blessed are you come on come on hallelujah now give Jesus a big shout, big shout, big shout, a victorious shout, a victorious shout. Come on, I thought you'd be jumping for Jesus. <laughs>